join me here today. I have a really sweet little um, upcycled project to share with you today. This is a little um, envelope flip folio. I was cleaning up the desk, found an envelope that was tucked in with a bunch of mess that I was cleaning up and I was, I looked at it and I thought, hmm, I bet I could do that. So I created this little five and a quarter by seven and a quarter flip folio using Cartabella's Home Again. And I'll just show you very quickly. I used the 12 by 12 collection. I love this collection. The colors are gorgeous. I used stickers. I used um, the ephemera uh, die cuts and the ephemera frame and tags. I used some washi tape. I used some chipboard. I used some of the six by six pages. And then I also, I love this that Cartabella does this. They do a color matched cardstock to the collection and it's good heavy cardstock. So I use this a lot for matting and for bases. So let me just put this aside. Oh, and really reasonable ribbon, chevron striped twill in light blue. And this is the either three quarter inch or one inch wide. This is really pretty match up with this collection. So on the front cover, I've layered up some of the ephemera tags, some of the card stock. I did some machine stitching. I painted some little metal corners white. This is a Prima door plate and key. This is an old, old Prima wooden clock with some little clock hands. These are the enamel dots from the collection, which I also used, and buttons from my stash. I thought they were real sweet. And these are 49 and Market flowers, which are made by Little Birdie. And I just dry brushed everything with white acrylic paint just to give it that really shabby chic farmhouse feel. And here's the bow button, and this is white iridescent string. It has a half inch spine that I covered with the washi tape, which is super easy. And then here's the back cover. The ribbon closure goes like this, and then inside we've got this really fun little flip book. Now here's the envelope over here on the left that I started with. So to use up my scraps, I created this little magnetic folio. Um, this was just a piece I had left over from another project. It's about three inches wide by 12 inches tall. So an awkward piece, but if you score this and fold, and I scored it two, I think it's two and three quarters and eight and a half, you can make this lovely little magnetic folio, which is a great place to do hidden journaling, add small photos, like photo booth size photos, and it's just darling. And top that with some chipboard and stickers from the collection. Then I used an oval die, um, and I'll show you how I put this together, so hang with me, and created this lovely pocket, and then made this sweet little tea wallet with a vintage spoon and held that in place with washi tape. And then inside there's a tea bag and a peppermint patty because I like how the color goes with this collection. And then that just lives in the pocket. And of course, once this comes out, you could add a lot of four by six or even five by seven photos in that pocket. So it's a very usable design. My honey stick is just taped to the spine because that way it closes nicely. And then over here is a flap page, and I'll demonstrate to you how to build this. And room for a little photo here and a chipboard piece. This turn tab is what was cut out of the pocket when I made the pocket, so that's cool. Then this flips out. Here's a little uh, in this house page. I love these sayings. We keep it real. We love. We make mistakes. We say, I'm sorry. We give second chances and third chances. We have fun. We're silly. We're patient. We give hugs. We accept each other and we do family. And then I just decorated this up with some stickers. And then this center panel is a waterfall folio. And I've put, I put a pocket on the front with all of these cute little um, tags that I fussy cut from the collection and then filled it with photo mounts. There's four photo mounts that will hold anywhere from four by four to four by six. Um, and then just decorated the pocket with that cute chipboard car. Then this flips up, and again, you can do um, four by six or four by five photos here. And then a nice place for journaling here. And this is the six by six paper. 
and I trimmed it to get the little flower cart on there, added the little banner flags. Super simple, super easy, but the back side is also a really cool page. I created a little hidden flap page back here, added a pocket with just using my scraps, which is what I love to do, created another little photo folio, and then added the fussy cut of that flower cart. That's a great place for journaling. And this just tucks inside the pocket. And then this page flips open, and here we've got life does not have to be perfect to be wonderful, and this room for another lovely family photo here. So really easy to make, really fun, super versatile design. And I'm gonna show you real quick how to make one. All right, so let me just show you very quickly how to do this base with an envelope. You just need a five by seven envelope, which are actually five and a quarter by seven and a quarter. And you need a seven inch by 12 inch panel of your cardstock. And you'll see this slips in here nice as you please. And this is going to strengthen that envelope. Then flip this over, line up, your envelope crease. Well, first you're going to glue this down. So just add your glue along this flap. I want to try to keep it equidistant top and bottom and then just burnish that down. So now you've created your base. Line the crease on the envelope flap, and it will be right about at five and a quarter, and score. And you may have to go back and forth several times. Then go over one half inch, and score again. Then fold along those scored lines and burnish. So now you've got this little book. Open it up, here's your pocket. And I used designer paper so I didn't have to line this pocket. This time I've used white just for the purpose of the tutorial. But now if you close this along your spine, you've got this little flap here. And I wanna make sure I'm square. And you're going to score this again at, is that an inch, five and a bit, yes five and a quarter and then come over a half an inch and score it again so that forms your outer spine on your folio and then you've got this little flap right here that you attach your designer paper to and the only caution you can make this as wide or as narrow as you want, but you want to keep it clear of your score line so that your book will close nicely. I think I just used a scrap and I went over about three and a half, and then I had room to add my turn tab. So the rest of it is just up to you. So, so cute, um, super easy. Use an old envelope, upcycle, make a cute book. And you can crank these guys out. They're really not hard to do, and they make great gifts. So that's it for me today. Thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed this little tutorial, please give it a thumbs up so others can find it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you along for the journey. You can also follow me on my website. My blog is kathybydesign.com. That's K-A-T-H-Y, bydesign.com. And I just love to share new ideas with you guys. So now I'm going to go get my craft done. Have a good one. Bye.